Technology seems to be advancing at an almost exponential rate and shows no sign of stopping. We tend to get so caught up trying to discover completely new things that we forget that what is already around us has infinite potential to be improved from the chairs you are sitting on now to the most efficient of turbines. Raise your hand if this is what you think of when I say turbine. I thought that these conventional three-bladed turbines, which produce electricity for about 60% of their runtime, were the most efficient, but that was until I found the Energy Ball, which is a spherical venturi turbine developed by Scottish scientists in 2008. This turbine produces electricity for about 80% of its runtime because of the venturi effect, which states that a fluid's pressure decreases and its velocity increases when it is forced through a constricted area a phenomenon that can be seen in everyday actions like blowing out candles. The turbine uses this effect to suck in air like a vacuum to turn the rotor, rather than just rely on the force of the wind. However, this turbine is not widely implemented because it produces too much drag, which is the frictional force that opposes lift and increases as surface area increases. This leads to my experiment, where I built five Venturi rotors with blade counts ranging from two to six and tested them in three different wind speeds. I wanted to see if reducing the blade count and the surface area would have any effect in reducing the drag. I found that the five bladed rotor generated the most electricity at each wind speed than the rest, 19.9% more than the six bladed rotor. One blade worth of drag was enough to increase its performance, but I didn't stop there. I wanted to take it one step further. I knew that the inside of the turbine's rotor was of lower pressure than the outside, so adding a second internal layer of blades would further decrease the pressure, allowing the turbine to suck in more air, spin faster, and therefore generate more electricity. I built five additional rotors with exterior blade counts of five and internal blade counts ranging from two to six and tested them in the same three wind speeds. I found that the rotor with three internal turbines produced the most out of all 10 rotors I built, which, and, which was 26% more efficient than the five bladed turbine. Therefore, it was 46.1% more efficient than the design the Scottish scientists came up with in 2008. Never would I have ever known that such a small difference to the configuration of a turbine could make this big of an impact on its performance. Everything around us has the potential to be has the potential to be improved and further advanced. And who knows? The chairs of tomorrow may have no legs, and in a few years we could be using phones. We could be using heat to charge our phones. There are footprints on the moon, so the sky is no longer the limit. Humanity thinks it must think outside of the box in order to find the greater potential in things that already exist. But I believe there is no box limiting us to begin with. We just have to start with what we already know. Thank you for listening.